Oh boy, Game Workshop has been hyping this for a little while. Hey everybody, it's your boy Nerdicane. I'm doing a 40k video. This just came out this like minutes ago. Uh, I've been waiting for this, this article to come out. I'm going to show you a lot of screenshots. This is the fight of the millennium. This is Gazgul Thraka versus some space dog guy. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm, it's, it's against the space wolves. Uh, their new, I guess he's a Primarch, um, Ragnar Blackmane. See, they fought before. Ragnar took some serious damage, uh, and but killed Gaz, and now Gaz is back. Orcs work very differently. Orcs ver work very strangely. Um, I will punch in a. This is a picture of the model of the new model. Uh, this is the new model of Gaz. Uh, Black Mane has basically got his work cut out for him because he's fighting an orc the size of a medium building. Uh, just look. And I gotta, I gotta preface this. This is like the first probably major release that, I, that I've had since I got into 40k. And um, the models, I have to say these models are an absolute joy to paint. My painting skills we're pretty good to begin with. I've, I've done painting, I've done oil painting, I've done watercolor, I've done, I have a, a skill set in that. But now that I'm getting into painting these 3D models, it's not like painting art. It's like, well, it's like painting a sculpture, but they have a level of detail that I absolutely love. I can get in there, I can get the tiniest toothbrush or tiniest um, brush that I have, and I can get way in there and just make sure that I have the, the color on a belt buckle proper uh, done right and it's, it's, I'm really loving it. these I look at these two models this is a set this is gonna be a set um, they have this is just the announcement I don't know how much this set's gonna be I don't know what this set's gonna come with um, like I said I'm very new to this but I'm excited and I'm also intimidated just look at the crazy amounts of detail and the just the absolute beautiful pose on on Ragnar, I mean, it's a shame he's gonna get crumped so horribly bad by by Gaz. Um, just kidding. I'm, I'm sure I'm offending a lot of a lot of the Wolves fans out there, but uh, I'm an Orc player, so I gotta have this. I gotta have this. I gotta get this. I gotta find it. Um, I don't know what a new release is gonna be like. With I got in about I got into the the hobby about a week after the Sisters came out, and I didn't really understand it. I thought, okay, it's kind of cool. These, you know, these female models just came out and, and uh, they look neat. They look really intimidating. The Triumph of St. Catherine, uh, go look that up. Go look up an image of that. That's an intimidating model to, to paint. But uh, I didn't understand why the Adeptus Sororitas was, was so important because they hadn't ever really, they hadn't been released in like 20 years and the previous models were very limited and they were the metal models. So they were hard to paint and they chipped very easily, but now that they've come out and they're in the plastic, uh, they're very easy to paint and they're kind of dope. Um, and also this week they've announced that the rest of that line is coming out. There's gonna be a lot more vehicles and more, more figures for that vehicle. So like I said before, man, it is a great time. If you're just put off by other fandoms, especially Star Wars right now, um, it is a really good time to set sail for the grim dark future. Uh, there's really cool stuff going on. And this is really cool. This is, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. Um, and like I said, intimidated because this is, this, this guy's school is so big and he's so important and he's so detailed. The detail doesn't scare me. It's just like, I want to do a really good job. So I have to get to work painting the rest of my boys and painting my vehicles because, I mean, essentially... He's the size of a piece of scenery. I've seen objectives on the field that are smaller than Gaz. And uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are, like these videos. I hope you guys are starting to get into them. And, and, and uh, like I said, yeah, it's a really cool time to get into, into 40K. And I've just gotten into it. And right off the bat, just boom, here comes... It's, it's almost like 40K was like, oh, okay, Nerdicane picked orcs. Here's a really cool new orc for you to to test your skills out on. Um, he doesn't really, I don't know if he really works with, with my evil son's clan. Um, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm buying it regardless whether I get to put him on the field or not. Um, maybe my second army will be 
the wolves. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, these things are really expensive. These these armies are super expensive. It's not a cheap hobby to get into. Uh, although I did see somebody the other day doing basically hand drawn proxies on on a uh, paper with with these clips that stand them upright, and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, you it's, you couldn't get away with it in a tournament, but you know, for just having some fun and trying it out and playing some games, that's a pretty cool little idea. But uh, tell me what you think. Tell me, I mean, just I know what you think. You're you're looking at this and thinking, damn, that's dope. Um, but yeah, this, tell me if you're excited for it. Um, tell me if you're not excited for it because you're about to start your armies are about to start getting crumped by uh, by Gaz here. But uh, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if I missed anything. Tell me if you actually you know what? if you're a forty k player. Tell me what was the big thing when you first got into into the um, into the hobby. What was the big release? The first new big release that you that you got in on. Uh, I would love to hear that. I'd, I'd I'd love to see if it, love to see if uh, other people who play the game for a much longer amount of time. Uh, if you're watching my video, man, just like kind of poke me along, guide me along, and tell me what in the comments what your experience was. I'd love to hear it. But that's all I got for this one. I got some. Oh, I just released a comic. I just released a comic review of Mirka Andolfo's Mercy, which was gorgeous, by the way. But uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Man, just check out these gorgeous models. They're amazing. You guys go have a good day. Find something you love. Find, uh, take a dive you know, like I did. Take a dive on, on some sort of new hobby uh, because Star Trek and Star Wars and Doctor Who have very much left people flat in the, in the last few months. But uh, it's time to go find something new, something new that you love. Go have a good day. Bye.